Looks like we lost those rustlers. They must have taken to the river. Yeah, the question is, which way did they go? Well, Holt, you and the boys circle around, and I'll take the river trail. If you hear any shooting, come a-running. And if we don't pick up their tracks, we'll report back to the office. All right, get going. I tell you, I heard a shot. Oh, you're loco. Anyway, if it had been the sheriff, you'd have heard a lot of shooting. Uh, well, I hope you're right. Ain't no use looking any further. Let's trick it back to town. The sheriff said to search until sundown. And that's just what we're going to do. All right, but I'm telling you, it's useless. Just the same, we're riding until sundown. You fellas are sure on a wild goose chase. We're going to follow these tracks till dark. Sure, we'll follow them. But what good's it going to do us? Well, that remains to be seen. Hey, look. I reckon them tracks did lead to something. They ain't seen us yet. Let's rush. How'd you do that for? Come on. You're red-handed, eh? What's your name? My name is Gray. What do you mean, caught me red-handed? Don't try to pull that line, Rustler. Just because you was left in the shuffle, don't think you can get out of this. Well, I just drifted in here. I asked for a job, and they put me to work. Yeah? We heard that palaver before. Let's take him in to sheriff. Yeah, and the boys in town will lynch him. I've got a better idea. We'll brand him with his own iron. And then if he's ever seen in this county again, it'll be his finish. You can't take the law in your own hand, men. I'm running this outfit when the sheriff ain't here. Yeah, but you're not carrying out his orders. Yes, but I know how to handle rustlers. And this time, I'm going to do just as I please. Oh, we won't have any hand in it. Well, then go on back to town. I'll handle this alone. Come on, Andy. Didn't you get his name? Yes, said his name was Gary Gray. Gray? Why, that's the young fellow that brought me in after the rustlers left me for dead. Holt, you take too many things into your own hands. You're too hot-headed. You branded a man that saved my life. I warned you before that I'm running this office. You refuse to obey my orders? Now you're through. This won't be easy to forget, Sheriff. I don't want you to forget it. It may teach you to use your head. Now get out. What I can't understand, Sheriff, is the reason for him shooting as soon as we spotted them rustlers. We wasn't anywhere near gun range. It couldn't have been an accident. Him being the best six-gun man in the country. There was a reason for that. Maybe there was a reason. I wonder. The sheriff wants to see you too. Boys, Matlock's been killed. I want you to go out to his ranch, follow every track leading to and from the killing. Check over that barn door that's tied with a rope. Well, you better take Doc along with you and have him examine the body thoroughly and then report to me. All right, Sheriff. It was only a flesh wound and could not in any way have caused Matlock's death. Matlock was killed by a 44 bullet. We questioned Mrs. Matlock and her daughter, and his death left them penniless. She wants you to try to sell the place. Well, you'd better ride out and tell Mrs. Matlock and her daughter to come in here right away. 
They shouldn't sell that place just yet. All right, sir. Well, we've seen you later, Sheriff. All right, Doc. I know, the old Sutter Ranch. Thanks to Gray here, we've located the hideout of the rustlers, and Ben Holt is in with them. Ben Holt shot Bill Manning. Bill's at your ranch, Verna. Your mother just told us. And she's mighty worried about you, too. You'd better get right home, Verna. I'll drop by later. All right, Sheriff. Hey, you fellas, load up with ammunition. We're going out and round up that gang once and for all. Come on, let's get going. You round up the gang, Sheriff. I'll take care of that, Umbre. into town. I'll see you later. All right, keep them up. Hold them on them, boys. Come on, give me that gun. You fellas get their guns and let's go to town. <laughs> 